Hello, my name is Sagari Lehtinen. Let's continue on getting started with SimplePim by automating the edits and exporting the final edited file back to IFC. We will also discuss a little bit how all this helps you not just with the IFC data, but the whole IFC workflow. The export preview in SimplePim is what you see is what you get view. The 3D will show you only the objects and the properties palette only the properties that will be included to the final IFC exchange file. If you like, you can go through the data one more time. Another nice visualization trick is to use the isolation mode. Or reveal with or without the outer zoom. The templates in SimplePim are not just for setting the requirements or enriching the data, they can also be used to automate all the edits we have done so far. So if you are creating or getting consistently modeled IFC files, you don't have to manually edit the files every time. I re-import the model to get to the starting point. And apply another training template to it. I just did all the manual edits we done so far in few seconds. The template included only the objects and properties that are required. It even took away the cross areas automatically. It mapped the properties to the correct places, gave the properties names I can understand in my own language, and replaced some values with the correct ones. The model passed the validation and all that is left is to add one final touch to the model. For that, click on the Author and License button. Exchanging BIM has to be a business. To make it business, it's not enough that the product, the exchange file, has high quality. You need to know the cost and resources it takes to create it, and you need to know the value the file provides to its users. Finally, the legal liability and model ownership issues need to be in order. When setting clear requirements to the exchange file by targeting it to a specific task or even application, all this comes much more manageable. The cost is roughly the time you use to edit the file. The value is defined by the targeted task, like energy analysis. Manage your rights to the model by restricting the context, use, users, and valid period of the model. All the data input here is included in the final IFC file. Fill in at least the author and the authorized uses and click OK to close the dialog. Note that also this data can be defined in the templates so that you don't have to enter it manually every time. When you're ready, click on the Abbey Cream button, choose the file location and export the final, edit it, well-defined, reliable and valuable BIM exchange model back to IFC. Let's take a look at the file size. It's now 90% smaller than the original one, and we haven't lost anything. Instead, we have made the data more reliable. We have targeted the data to a specific task, energy analysis, and thus greatly increased its value. Super! And you can do the same trick for any targeted task, manually or by using the templates. OK, one more thing. Here's the original model in IDA-I's energy analysis application. For example, the space names and construction types are totally unreliable. And here's the edited one. It loaded 10 times faster, and the data can be trusted. The simulation based on the IFC file runs, and in the end, highly valuable information is created to support decision making in the construction project. That's it. Thank you for your interest on SimpleBIM. You should now be ready to try validating and editing an IFC file of your own. Remember, IFC files for different tasks and applications have different requirements. Meeting the requirements and targeting your model is the key to professional IFC workflow. Here we edited an exchange file for EDI's energy analysis. 
but you might want to start by doing it, for example, for another design party, class detection, or even creating a template of your own. If you don't find a ready-made template for the application in your or your partner's use, please let us know. And make sure to check the other tutorials on our website or on our SimpleBeam YouTube channel. See you next time.